Back to what, what Rob said. Uh, she will bear a son and you shall call his name Yeshua for he will save his people from their sins. Now, the way that we would have to interpret this or the way we'd have to retranslate this if uh, a free will model is, is she will bear a son and he, he sh- we shall call, and you shall call his name Yeshua for he will offer salvation to all. But that's not what it says. May, and people may or may not yeah. take it. And it might be that no one ever takes it and he will have died for nothing. Yep. Exactly. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Now, he said that uh, what I don't, I forget exact his exact words. It's hard for us to back up uh, scripturally, or it's hard for us to back up. Okay, let's just run through some of these. I'm not even going to look at the chat room for a few minutes. I'm just going to run through some of these. Uh, John six thirty seven through 39, all that the Father, Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. John seventeen six through 12. I have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I, gave, I have given them to the, to the words that you have have get uh, that you gave me and they have received them and have come to know that in the truth that I came from you and they have believed that you sent me I am praying for them I am not praying for the world but for those whom you have given me for they are yours all mine are yours and yours are mine and I am glorified in them and I am no longer in the world but they are in the world and I am coming to you holy father keep them in your name which you have given me that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given to me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Romans 8, 28. I'm going to throw the Romans 8 in there. But uh, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, we'll, we'll skip it. Ephesians 1, 4 through 5. Even oh, yeah, as he cute. chose us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love, he predestined us for, for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. Proverbs 16, 4, if we want to go the other way, the Lord has made everything for its own purpose, even the wicked for the day of the Lord or the day of destruction. But God shows his love for us, uh, this is Romans 5, 8 through 10, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, not after we chose, but while we were still sinners. That's, since, therefore, yeah, that's a good one. since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God for while, for if while we were enemies, st- for if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by, de- uh, by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. And finally, first John 4, 9 through 10. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Amen. Preach it. Uh, so what, he's, what train, what train are love you it. using there? And Brandon, Brandon, uh, responds show me one verse that states jesus died for the elect is this is this ESV? only only for the elect uh what was i using i was using esv yeah and i oh. think uh esv and nasb at some points so i mean yeah once Very again nice. look look here's the thing is that brandon's going to come back and say something like oh show me any place uh Show me one verse that states Jesus died only for the elect. Show me one verse that says that the 66 books of the Bible uh, are the uh, inspired cam- canon. Show me one verse that says that uh, God is uh, three in one. These are truths that are obvious from the scriptures, but aren't stated explicitly. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.